Hello, my name is Dr. Veni from Veno Healthcare. Welcome to the Veno Health Group. <laughs> What is the best contraceptive for a sexually active teenager? So that's the question and the person requested to stay anonymous. So obviously there's a lot of sensitivities around contraceptive use, especially amongst teenagers. And there are various views on this. And I will just give information and, of course, leave the choices to you, the listeners, or to the parents guiding these teenagers. But before we go into that, I would like to encourage us parents to be open, keep that door open and answer all those questions that these teenagers might have about sex. If you don't answer those questions, they will find answers in their own way. And the answers they find might not be the best answers. So before we go into what the best contraceptive is for this particular teenager, let's talk about contraceptives in general, because I think this is also another mystery. There are various contraceptives. The choices are unlimited. And you can choose what works best for you. I'll start with a very own and controversial Abstinence, it's 100% effective if you can practice it consistently. Now, of course, it's the if they are where the issues are. But for those that practice it consistently, it does work for them. But we have to appreciate it might not work for everyone. So those are what we call the behavior methods, contraceptives. Now, what are some of the so-called modern contraceptives? We generally use the term modern contraceptives because we know that people have been using a number of methods, safe days. However, they tend not to work as effectively as they should, especially if your cycle doesn't work, isn't very regular. So we have a number of modern contraceptives and I'll focus most of this discussion on those modern contraceptives. Let me start with the commonest and that is condoms. Now condoms are made of rubber, usually sold on the market in packs of three. So one pack has three. They work and they have to be used consistently and they have to be worn correctly. They have to be worn in such a way that they, you don't damage it during the process of wearing it. They have to be stored very well. If you're keeping it in your car boot, those hot temperatures, you might actually interfere with the condom. Okay, So they have to be kept very well, not in your very hot cars. Yeah. And before you use condom, of course, you must check that it's not expired. You have to check the expiry date. Immediately you buy it, check the expiry date. Make sure it's not expired. So condoms are, are good because on top of preventing pregnancy, so on top of being contraceptive, they also protect you against uh, sexually transmitted infections or diseases including HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, so many sexually transmitted infections and they do protect you from those as well. Yeah, The other method that's commonly used which is also well could be interpreted as barrier but not necessarily barrier, they are what we call the IUD or intrauterine devices. I think this is what people commonly call coils. Now these ones are inserted in the uterus. They are inserted through the vagina. Sorry, I don't fear to say those words. You shouldn't. They are inserted through the vagina, right through the cervix, which is the opening of the, of the uterus, 
and right into the uterus. Now, the commonest types of IUDs are two. The copper, these ones are made of copper, and then the hormonal. How do IUDs actually work? They work by preventing implantation, mostly by preventing implantation of a fertilized egg. Okay? So, when an egg is fertilized, it has to come and stick to the wall of the uterus. And then from there, it will grow to a baby, a fully, a fully grown baby. However, these IUDs prevent that from happening. They also increase what we call the production of mucus around the cervix, which can also act as a barrier for sperm to move to meet the egg for the fertilization to happen. Yeah? So that's how they mostly work. And most, most the commonest IUDs are copper. They are made of copper. They are also the hormonal IUDs. So they have a bit of hormones and the coil is inserted into the uterus and it's that hormone, it's those hormones that will prevent the baby from implanting, the, the, the baby, the egg, the fertilized egg from getting implanted. Okay? So those are two so far. We mentioned condoms, we mentioned the intrauterine devices or IUDs or coils as, you, as people call them. The other method is what we call the implants. Now these implants are mostly put under the skin on the arm for the most part. Okay? Most implants have hormones as well. Then there are what we call injectables. Injections are also hormones. They inject you with hormones and all these hormones, all they do is to change the way the, your naturally occurring female hormones are produced. And by doing that, they interrupt the process of releasing that egg that a woman is supposed to release every month. So they interrupt that process and thereby prevent you from prevent a woman from getting pregnant. Now, the other method is what we call pills. Now, the pills are two kinds. We can have daily pills, pills that are taken every day. So every day you take a pill. Those are usually sold in chassis of 30 tablets, of 30 pills. Then we also have the emergency contraceptive pills. As you can hear, the word is emergency. So these shouldn't be used every day, all the time. They should be used in case of an emergency. And they have to be used within 72 hours of a sexual encounter. The longer you wait, the higher the chances of actually getting pregnant, even when you take this. It's generally not advisable to take emergency contraceptive pills if the sexual encounter was over 72 hours ago. Yeah? Very, very important. So we've heard about the methods. We have heard about condoms, both male and female condoms. We've heard about intrauterine devices. We have heard about injections, or injectable contraceptives. We've heard about implants, which are inserted under the skin, most usually under the skin of the arm. Then we have the pills. We have the daily pills, the oral contraceptives, and we also have the emergency pills. So back to our question. What is the best contraceptive? For a sexually active teenager. I'm going to say the best contraceptive for that teenager, because I believe they are probably not in a committed relationship, would be condoms. Reason being, condoms are going to prevent not just pregnancy, but they will prevent other sexually transmitted infections, such as HIV, gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia, we already mentioned all of these, yeah? So, very, very important. However, 
if you're choosing to go ahead and give your teenager or give advise them to use condoms please make sure you're giving them wholesome information you should actually take the trouble to teach them how a condom should be used okay you should be able to teach them how a condom should be used how it should be worn otherwise if they don't use them correctly then it won't be any good and they have to use them consistently consistently in order to prevent pregnancy and to prevent sexually transmitted infections of course you i know your question was really around helping this adolescent or this teenager who is already sexually active this shouldn't stop you from giving them more information about other methods like abstinence yes we've seen teenagers start to have sex and some have actually been cancelled and stopped so even as you give information regarding using condoms please do share with them information regarding abstinence and why it's good and how to overcome really the pressure of having sex for some of the younger teenagers especially the girls it's about teaching them how to negotiate for their own rights because some of the girls are actually coerced into sexual relationships that they are not ready for yeah so really really important that you give wholesome information to these adolescents and that's why it was important for us to share with you all of these methods so that you know they all exist and we've given you reasons why we think that condoms would be the best contraceptive for this teenager i hope this has answered your question i hope this has been helpful please do let us know if this session has been helpful and if you have any other questions related to contraceptives or any other health related question we'll be happy to answer that please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow us on all our social media handles to make sure you don't miss any of this useful information thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the year goodbye <laughs>